Hey guys, I'm C Avocado, and today I'm going to be showing you the new snapshot. And that is because, if you haven't guessed, this new snapshot. So, what's going on in this snapshot is they've added the dripstone, which are, if you don't know, stalactites and stalagmites. And if you don't know what stalactite and stalagmite is, they're like hangy down and sticky up things in caves. And personally, I think they could be a good addition to the game and also they've changed some textures that I want to have a look at for example the clock texture I don't know how they've changed it but I'm sure it'll become obvious when we have it. so here we are in the world and let's take a look at these blocks I don't know what they're gonna be called hmm oh no they're called dripstone aren't they so as you can see I now have something called dripstone blocks which I think, oh, oh, now that, oh, let's, let me get some, let me get some granite. Because I want to know how they two match. Oh, no. Personally, I don't think they work together. But if you get something like maybe dirt and coarse dirt, I'm just trying to see what colour it is. It's kind of like a, I don't know. Guess not. It's kind of like a more dark version of the iron ore, irony bit, but I can't currently think of any uses for it. Oh, now that is interesting. Okay, so when they are not supported, they will fall. But let's have a look at that clock. Ah, yes, I see. They've made it more like a copper clock. Maybe, or gold clock, I don't know. And apparently, I've been looking at the change logs, and they've changed the amethyst. Yes, they have, definitely. Here's the budding amethyst texture. It looks more budding. Wait, what? Did you see? Amethyst buds. Oh. Oh. This could make amethyst auto farms. Can you push off the amethyst? You can make amethyst auto farms. I'm sh oh, I'm amazed. This is insane. Amethyst auto farms. This is actually going to be great. Let's get a zombie and go back to what we were doing. But I have to remember that that you can do amethyst auto farms now. Hope you make a bit on it. Okay, let's shove a zombie in here. Put down some dripstone. Yeah, they definitely take damage. But the question is, the higher up they are, does it increase the damage that the zombie takes? That is my question currently that I am posing. Let's go up and... Plonk a load of dripstone down. And then let's destroy the top. Yep, they die. Now, that's interesting. Because if you're in a cave and you're out exploring, and you know how there's always gravel sometimes above you, if you accidentally break a bit of gravel, you could damage yourself with these dripstones but there's one thing i want to test and that is put myself in survival mode and see what happens when you fall on them slash game mode survival okay here goes we i see that did quite a bit of damage if i say so myself let's go to creative again yeah, that does a lot of damage. Let's try it with a zombie, because I just need to see what actually happens. Okay, let's put granite there. Yep, they fall and die. And normally, falling that far would not kill you from 
full damage, but it appears that these do actually massively increase the damage. And this is what I've been wanting for ages, spikes in Minecraft. Oh, here's one question. Spike walk. Can you walk across them, or do you get harmed? This could be some very interesting mechanics. Let's go in survival. Oh, not spectator. Survival. And now we walk along. Do we just... Oh. Now, there's one thing I want to test. If I jump... You do! You take quite a bit of damage if you jump from them now. Okay. Let's see, does the bigger... You no, know, the bigger doesn't affect the damage when you land on them. But yes, you do die. Now that is interesting. Maybe I'll... Oh. I can think of countless ways to use this. Like a non-jumping parkour map. Now that is cool. And there's something that I've heard happens with them, and that is that they will drip down lava, if there's lava above them. Well, at least that's what it says in the change logs on the uh, Minecraft thingy. So let's grab ourselves some lava. And... You know, so we can compare it. Let's put it next to it with a bit of lava. Let's just go and do something. Particles, particles, particles. Where are the particles? Okay, particles all. I just had some particles up. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe let's... Oh! You saw that, right? Maybe let's just make it one tall and see what happens. Ah! They can destroy others, as I've just seen. See? Let's watch this again. Yep. Oh, we missed it! Apparently they're meant to drip lava down. But I'm not sure that that's... Happening on my thingy. Oh! Now that is cool. I like the look of this. That could be like a weird column thingy. Yes. Let's have a look. Yeah, personally, I don't think it's going to work anytime soon. <laughs> We're going to have to wait a bit. But, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want me to make more Snapshot videos, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Goodbye, we'll see you in the next video. I already said goodbye, but goodbye again. Bye.